all of my bluff Better think twice You do you, but I can't do me What was you thinking? Me. Holding it down It's Sunday fun day! Woo! It's Sunday fun day and I have an hour to get myself together and get on out to the festivities. First things first, I have these pants that I've only worn once. I got them from, I believe, Shein. Really cute, pleather pants. However, I think they got, I think, um, not I think, they did get, they got messed up. They got messed up is what I'm trying to get at. I'm sorry, did they just, Magically fix themselves. Oh, no, here it is. They have a big old hole in the crotch area. A big old hole in the crotch area. So, I'm going to get to sewing because these are the pants that I want to wear today. But I'm turning them inside out right now. But I got my handy dandy silk kit. And I don't have a sewing machine, so we're really... Yeah, manual labor over here. Manual labor. Shout out to... The sewing class I took in college, in high school actually. In high school we had sewing machines. College too, but I think college also taught me how to hand sew. And that's where this kit is from. I've had this kit for like 10 years now. No. Eight? 10? Maybe eight. When was I in college? Yeah, I had this kit probably since like 2014, 2015, 2015, 2016. I started my freshman year. Y'all need to know all of that. I got this from college, you know? I've had it for some years. So, I'm just closing the hole. I forget what this pattern is called. This sew pattern I'm doing. But pretty much, I'm going in and out on the sides instead of like looping it and going over. Because I'm just closing the hole right now. And then I'm going to go back and loop it. And you see, I'm just going in to come out on the other side. And then doing that same thing, going in to come out on the other side. Thank goodness this wasn't a big hole. Because of course I'm on the time crunch. Now, I'm going to loop it. Going back up. Let me just, ouch. Okay, and I'm just closing it up now. I'm just going to create a little knot. We're going to double knot it, actually. Triple. Just to be on the safe side. And just like that, we got pants to wear today. Alright. It is currently 12.18. And I need to be out of here at 1 o'clock. I can do it! Let's get ready. Like you just woke up. I'm wearing um, them pleather pants that mm -hmm. I wore in Nashville, and either <laughs> like a red, like deep V-neck top, or is it tan? It's like a neutral, like a light neutral um, tie up top. But you're wearing pants and a shirt. Yeah. Yep. 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 Kayla's still sleep. I just went in her room, like. Cause she got home at like 4.30 this morning. Well, tell her wake up. It's Sunday fun day. Trips that you plan for the next whole week. They are too long for a nigga so cheap. And flex so deep. Sex so deep. You got it, girl. You got it. Got it, girl. You got it. 
girl, you got it. Okay, so got my pleather pants on. I know y'all probably can't see it right now, but I wanted to go with this tie up top situation with some gold jewelry. I just forgot my bracelets. Okay, so I've got my gold jewelry on. Gotta rep the B. And I got my dingly pieces on. I got this rose gold watch on. Gold earrings. Yeah. And then I decided to wear my pandas my nike pandas so let's go ahead and put those on and then for my little scent layer i'm gonna go with beyonce say noir so it smells oh my god it smells so good she got her thing with this so i'm just put it on you know all the spots and then this is going to be like my overall scent this is the Very Sexy Now from Victoria's Secret. Ooh, I'm almost gone. But I think this pairs very well with that same noir. It gives very sexy. It gives date night scent for real, for real, but it's fine. It could be my Sunday fun day scent. I know it looks like I'm spraying a lot, y'all, but it's just, it's almost gone, so it's barely coming out. I decided to go with this um, bag I got from some little shop in the mall. It's just a red bag i thought i wanted to add like a little color so i'm adding a little color i was gonna wear like a pleather bag but i was like you know let's add a little color so this will be doing Ugh. okay i gotta go oh one last thing it's 1 30. i didn't make the one o'clock mark but it's fine it's fine Drive the boat Drive the boat yes birthday girl cheers <laughs> Get the party started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shot, 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 shot. Yes, ma'am. Oh, did you? Yeah. Like, for contest? Yeah. Oh, okay. Cheers. Cheers. It's Taco Tuesday. I, if I'm being completely honest, I just had some tacos. And I want a little more. I had some tortilla chips left in my um, cabinet here. I just didn't want to go back. So I just made me some nachos just to eat them up. But I got to get ready. I'm going to see Hamilton live. I'm so excited. I did see the musical on Disney Plus when it like came, when it started streaming on Disney Plus. But I didn't finish it i kind of fell asleep um but i was watching it really late and hamilton is pretty freaking long so i'm gonna go check that out after i eat these nachos and then we gonna get ready together okay all right come here chick sheep hello you miss me today hi mama okay so i didn't get ready with y'all but that's because 
I was not trying to be late. The show started at 7.30. I was trying to be there before 7.30, but I was a bit on a time crunch and I didn't have time to record and make sure I got myself out of here in time to watch the show. Like literally y'all, one sec. Like literally y'all, when I got there and I didn't like, I didn't prepay for parking. So Trix, you're kind of in my way, mamas. You're kind of in my way with your cutie pooty show. Get down. Thank you. I didn't prepay for parking. So I was driving around trying to find the best parking price wise. And I found it, but it took me a little time. And, you know, I just, that's why I just, I didn't have time. You know, I didn't have time. Like literally when I got there, I was speed walking to the theater. And by the time I got to my seat, the show started. Like, I was sitting down and curtains were up. The performance started. So, I couldn't get ready with y'all. But, I did take a lot of pictures. Um, I don't know if I'm going to show them now or if I want y'all to go to my Instagram. Because I will post them on Instagram. And they'll be posted on Instagram way before this vlog even goes up. So, I hope you're following me. But Hamilton, Hamilton was amazing. 10 out of 10 recommend i will say though the show was long as fuck long as fuck and if you don't know that now you know it's a three hour show three hours and i mean they go through like what 30 40 years yeah they go through like three four decades they had to fit three four decades into three hours if i'm not mistaken i'm pretty sure they stop at the 1800s maybe even a little beyond that but it starts in like 1770s or some shit like that i think something like that they go through decades okay that's all you need to know but yeah 10 out of 10 recommend um what was i saying if you like drama and it's not your usual that's what i like about hamilton it's not your usual like classical musical it's more hip-hop it's like more hip-hop like r&b bluesy musical so if you're into that sound you'll like it if you're into drama you'll like it because it's a lot of drama it's some um, sisters being in love with other sisters men and cheating involved and power power greed and murder and all that okay go check it out if it's in your city it's late at night i do have to wake up early so i'm got to finish editing before i head to bed because it's going on the third day of me editing just because life's been a little busy and i really want to get it done tonight so i'm gonna finish editing what i gotta edit and then i'll see y'all manana bro not playing a fitness trying to piss me off on this beautiful beautiful day i got a basic membership with planet fitness which if you know and if you got a basic or classic i think is what they call it it's just ten dollars a month right why this month they took the ten dollars out of my account per usual but then i saw a double charge of 25 dollars taken out right after that so of course i'm like oh no we gotta investigate this like that's sus i called the lady well i called the store the manager who has a lady picked up I told her what the issue was. She can't find the statement on her end. Like, she can't find the charge on her end. I'm like, well, it has the same charge fee. Like, it says Planet Fitness fee ID, and it has the same number. Meaning, it came from this location if it has that same number. She's trying to figure out if I got a double account somewhere and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, the last time I've been with Planet Fitness was back in like 2017 in philly i'm not in philly and it's been years since 2017 i have never gotten a charge from them i don't have any outstanding fees or unpaid fees with them nothing like that and she's like comfort she she wanted to investigate herself because she just kept saying oh there must be a double account somewhere because i don't understand where that charge is coming from we don't see it on our end blah 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 I'm like, okay, whatever, do what you gotta do, call around, whatever, whatever. I don't know, maybe there is a double charge somewhere. Do what you gotta do to figure it out. 
she calls me back and pretty much said everything that I already knew. She was like, yeah, like I saw where you did have your last membership in Pennsylvania. Um, and you don't got any um, unpaid balance or outstanding fees. I'm like, I know. I know. Now what? And I'm like, I'm not getting nasty with her or anything, but I my irritation was growing, growing. It got to the point where she was just like, well, come in and let me see your statement. Let me see it on your, your bank statement. <sighs> Fine. Fine. I drive all the way here. And the crazy thing is I was going to go to the gym today, but I needed, I had so much stuff that I needed to catch up on before I leave this weekend. So I was like, okay, well, let me catch up on what I, let me catch up on the work I got to catch up on. And then I'll go to the gym. I'm so annoyed. I don't even want to come to this gym right now until they figure out this double charge of my account, because it's just like, bro, what is this $25? I don't even have that plan. That's not my membership. So we kind of left it at that might be like a what do they call it like a, a a holding charge it's not what it's called but there's a name for it but i can't think of it right now like a like a placement charge or whatever something that like it's placed there but then it gets taken off of your account right she said maybe it's one of those fees because since um what she say? She said since she doesn't see it on her end, maybe billing made a mistake, deleted the charge, but it didn't show that way on my account yet. I'm like, all right, okay. She said give it 20, 24 to 48 hours um, because she thinks that it's going to fall off of my account. <sighs> Do I want to wait 24 to 48 hours? and just see this random ass charge on my account this, the entire time? No, no, I do not. But what other choice do, do I have? The other choice that I have is I could dispute it with my uh, bank, but I don't wanna go through all of that. I don't wanna go through the possibility of them having to close my account because there's a fraud charge and no, I need my account up and active right now. I can't deal with that. I mean, push come to shove, I'm gonna have to do what I have to do, but all I know is they better, they better figure this out because what that annoyed the finux out of me so i'm gonna just get my workout in that dance class tonight because i don't want to see them i don't want to be in there right now i'm i'm so annoyed i'm this close to closing my account and going to another planet fitness because what what do you mean you can't figure it out right now <sighs> What? What? Why you always want to fight? What's up? What's up? What's up? You started, you swung on me first. Why can't we just get it on, Mama? <laughs> okay, all right. Calm down. <laughs> Why are you so riled up right now? It's because I threw the clothes at you? <laughs> Seriously? Let's pack. So. I'm going to Philly for the weekend. For those that don't know, I'm from Philly, born and raised. On a playground is where I did not spend most of my days because my mom didn't let me leave the block. While all my friends were able to go to the wreck, I had to stay on the block and be in before the street lights came on. But whatever, I'm going to Philly for the weekend and I gotta pack because I have a flight in the AM. And yes, I am a last minute packer. It's, psh, psh. Is that really surprising? um mm -hmm. so where do i start these are all the clothes that i'm taking with me i know it don't look like anything that's because i'm literally i'm just going there for the weekend and honestly i'm going there to celebrate my sigma anniversary with my line sissies so really the only major outfit i need is in here our pajamas everything else is like you know for working out while I'm there. I'm gonna be there for the whole weekend so I can still work out. I don't know if y'all can see me, sorry. I can still, actually, could y'all see me? Anyway, like I was saying, pretty much everything here is either clothes I'm taking because I'm going to work out while I'm there or outfits just in case I want to pop out, hit the town, be in the streets. You know what I'm saying? While I'm there. And that's it. I know that I'm wearing this. This is going to be my airport outfit. No. Yeah, this. 
This is going to be my airport outfit. These are the pants from TikTok to make your butt look good. And then the hoodie also from TikTok. You are enough. I showed y'all this in a previous vlog. Dear person behind me, the world is a better place with you in it. Love the person in front of you. And like I said, everything else is just like workout clothes and stuff. So I'm going to fold this up and put it all in my luggage. And that's it. Yeah, hey, lucky we are to be alive right now. I'm still thinking about Hamilton. It, but it just shows... I like them together. I'm watching Love is Blind. This is season six. And this is Clay and AD talking with Clay's mom and sister. I really like Clay and AD together. I think they will make it because I think the things that they're chatting about, that they're having a little friction over, is stuff that you could really work through and get over. Like, I think they may go through harder things than this. So if they let this not make, not, if they let this be the reason they don't make it work then but i don't see that for them you know they're engaged so i just feel like first of all i didn't come on here to rant about love is blind i came on here to say i'm in philly 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 live from the 215 but the side and i'm getting ready to meet up with my line sisters um i didn't vlog a lot when i first got here because I didn't bring the proper vlogging equipment, if I'm being honest. So it was just a little difficult. And I was bonded with my mom for most of yesterday when I landed here. So there's that too. But yeah, I kind of do want to finish my thought though. I feel like what they're arguing about right now or what they're working through right now, what they're talking about, having a disagreement on is Clay is an entrepreneur. And apparently sometimes for convenience, he doesn't always come home. And AD is just like, you know, I will, I understand that and she loves the fact that he puts work um, as a priority. He's an entrepreneur, he's a businessman. Who doesn't love that? I think where AD is getting at, it's just like, you're engaged now. Like something has to change, something has to give, you know? He's like, he's like, you know, where we live or where I need to be is like an hour out. An hour isn't bad. You can, you can drive an hour. You can drive an hour. I can see if it was like two, three hours, all right, sure, but an hour, you can do an hour. I wouldn't let him slide with that one. Um, but anyway, I think that's something that can be totally worked through. He just kind of needs to get it through his head that he's an engaged man now. And his fiance wants him, wants him home. That's it. Um, Yeah, I'm going to finish getting ready. And I'll chat with y'all when I'm leaving out. Because you know me. It's not a 
satu nih. Ini udah belum ya? Aman. Oke, okay, actual cheers now. Okay. Cheers to Cheers. 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 Okay, okay, okay. I know I look crazy. It's the next morning, and I just took my makeup off. Yes, I slept in my makeup, but anyway, I'm watching Love is Blind again, and I just wanted to add on to um, that Clay and AD situation that I was talking about yesterday. Um, if I was AD, I would have a lot of concerns about my man not coming home even if he does say that he's staying out because the convenience of getting to work after he already told ad that there's like a history of infidelity with the men in his family and he's experienced his father um infidelity and his father took him on these cheating trips and stuff and he just thought that was a norm like men aren't supposed to be faithful they can be with multiple women like that's a norm this is why I, I understand why uh, AD wants him home because you're a fiance now. An hour isn't that long of a commute. It's long, but like an hour is doable for you to bring your behind home or at least make some other um make some other changes that, that can make that happen, that can make you go home happen. Because if it was me, because I too have experienced men of my men in my family or even men that i've been around or dated being womanizers and like not really being faithful men like i feel like if it was me and my man was very open and honest about that pattern in his family i will appreciate him for being honest but at the same time that doesn't mean that you could just do anything because now i have in the back of my head i gotta make sure this don't happen to me i would be concerned about that like why are you staying out at night Okay, I'm gonna go get myself together. This this is crazy. Hey vlog, oh, my hair is still wet. It's my last night in Philly. I'm about to go hang out with one of my line sisters. I do want to show y'all what I'm wearing. It's an all black biker situation. I don't think y'all were able to see that, so I'm gonna show. I'm gonna try to show y'all later. <laughs> Thinking. I'll be waiting for you year after year to get it together. 